Patients with heart failure often hold on to too much fluid in their bodies. This extra fluid can cause shortness of breath and swelling of the ankles and feet. If you have heart failure, how do you know whether you have too much fluid? One way is to notice how much swelling you have at your ankles, and another is how much you weigh. If at the end of the day you have more than a trace of fluid at the ankle, you may be holding on to excess fluid. If you have just a trace of swelling of the ankle at the end of the day, then you probably have the right amount of fluid. Another way to tell is by following your weight. If your weight goes up more than two or three pounds in a day, or by five pounds over seven days, your body may be holding on to too much fluid. Your doctor prescribes two things to help you keep your fluid in balance when you have heart failure. First, he or she recommends a low sodium diet containing only two to three grams of sodium a day. An average diet has a lot more sodium, up to eight to 10 grams of sodium per day. And second, he'll prescribe a diuretic, a water pill, to help prevent excess body fluid from accumulating. It's important for you to monitor your fluid status daily. You do this by weighing yourself once a day, every day at the same time. It's best to weigh yourself before breakfast, uh, before you eat anything. And always use the same scale and always wear the same amount of clothes. Also, you need to empty your bladder just before you weigh yourself. And you need to write down each day's weight on a calendar or a list so that you can take it with you when you go to the doctor. Your goal weight, the weight you're trying to maintain, is the weight you're at when there's just a trace of swelling of the ankles at the end of the day, sometimes called your dry weight. Ask your doctor what your goal weight or dry weight should be. That's the weight that you want to try and maintain. More than a trace of ankle swelling indicates too much fluid. If your weight goes up more than two or three pounds in a day or goes up by five pounds in a week, you need to let your doctor know so that he can adjust your diuretic dose. You'll also want to make sure that you aren't eating some high sodium foods without realizing it because too much salt in your diet will cause your body to hold on to fluid and will make your heart failure worse. Your doctor may prescribe a sliding scale of your diuretic. That is, he may prescribe additional diuretic for you to take when your weight goes up. Say, for example, your regular dose of diuretic is 20 milligrams of furosemide once daily in the morning. If your weight goes up more than two or three pounds in a day or five pounds in a week, the doctor might advise you to take an extra 20 milligram dose of furosemide every day, say in the afternoon, until your weight is back at goal. But don't change your water pill dosage, your diuretic dosage, on your own. You should have a formal written plan with your doctor. And the most important thing is to weigh yourself every morning. Write down each day's weight and know what to do if your weight changes. Either call the doctor and ask what to do or have a formal plan with the doctor. There are excellent educational tools on the internet. The Heart Failure Society of America has patient education modules on every aspect of heart failure. I put a link on the end credit for the Heart Failure Society modules. Well, that's it for this visit. Thank you for watching, and I hope you found this useful.